Welcome to DuckCast video tutorial. In this video we will show you how to use the DuckCast paywall monetization option. Please note that the paywall option is available for pro plans and above or event plans of more than 5 terabytes. This tutorial focuses on live channels however monetization is available for all types of content. To access your paywall. First log in to your DuckCast back office. In the live channel section click on your live stream. Then click on the section monetization. Here you can see our options for adding monetization to a live stream channel. As well as the means to add new prices, promo codes, and subscription. Click on the button add price in order to add a price. You can see in the type section that you can choose between pay per view or subscription. In this example we are going to set up a price of 30 US dollars for a 30 minute event. Allow multiple purchases is an option that lets viewers buy more than one ticket of access at a time. When you turn it on, your viewers will be able to purchase several accesses to the video at the same time. The start method field refers to two available methods, upon purchase and schedule. When selecting Upon Purchase, the viewer can automatically view content the instant it's paid for. With Schedule, this option is intended for live streams available on a specific date or for time release content. It allows broadcasters to create a start time for content viewing and to specify a date and specific hour and minute. To begin creating a schedule, select this option and place your cursor in the first field which will populate a calendar. Choose the start date of our broadcast, or the release date for your video on demand content. Next, choose an hour and minute interval, available in 5 minute segments. Then you can select the time zone of the start time of your live event. When you finish with the calendar, viewers can purchase the content ahead of time, but can only view when the specific date and time roll around. This presents an effective way to pre sell without worrying that a user will begin their window of access too early. Then click on Add. You will see a confirmation message appear saying your price has been saved. For adding a subscription, select Subscription as the type of price. You can select the frequency of your subscription which can be Weekly, Monthly, Annual, Quarterly, Biannual. For example, choosing $30 and a monthly duration will give the viewer a month of access for $30. The two different currencies available are US dollars and Euro. We are going to use the upon purchase method here. Once everything is ready, click the add button. You will see a confirmation message appear saying your price has been saved. To set up your promo code, click on add promo code. Then choose an alphanumeric code. This will be the code you will give to your viewers so they can apply it when purchasing your video. This code has a minimum of 4 characters and a maximum of 6 characters. It can be a series of digits, of letters or a mix of both. Then choose between the following types of promo codes available. Percentage discount. Money discount. Free pass code. Gift code. In this video we will set a free pass code with a limit of 3 viewers. Choose the rate to apply to either all pay-per-views or all subscriptions on that stream, depending on which price is set up. In the limit field we enter 3. Then click on add new. You'll see a confirmation message saying that your coupon has been saved. To verify if you have correctly set up your paywall, go on publish settings section and copy paste the social media share code into a browser tab. We are going to test the paywall using the promo code we just set up. First you will have to log in with your email address. After entering the free pass code, click on submit. You will be able to choose between watching your content now or later. For more info you can check out the help article linked below. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let us know if you have any questions.